Sea otters are members of the weasel family. They inhabit shallow coastal areas of the northern Pacific, from Japan to Alaska and California. Sea otters have incredibly thick fur, with up to 1 million hairs per square inch. They prefer to inhabit areas with kelp because they use the kelp as an anchor when they are resting. Unlike many other marine mammals, sea otters do not possess a layer of blubber to keep warm. Instead, they rely on their fast metabolism and thick fur. In order to keep up with their metabolism, sea otters may eat 30% of their body weight each day. They feed on a variety of organisms such as clams, crabs, sea urchins, and octopuses by making short dives to the seafloor to snatch prey. Their webbed feet help them swim through the water. They use stones to break open the tough shells of their prey after they come back to the surface. Since sea otters rarely venture on land, they spend the majority of their time floating on their backs in the water. They are social animals, so they will often float together in large groups. They will even hold hands to keep from separating from each other. Females usually give birth to their first pup at 4 to 5 years of age. Pups only weigh about 4 pounds at birth. They stay with their mothers and nurse for the first 6 months of their life. Mothers groom their pups and carry them on their chest. They leave their pups wrapped up in kelp in order to hunt. Adult sea otters can grow to around 4 feet long and will typically live 10 to 20 years. Sea otters are listed as endangered species. Their populations can be hard to recover from threats because of their slow reproductive rate. In the past, sea otters were hunted to near extinction. The sea otter fur trade began in the 1700s by Russian explorers. By the 1900s, there were only a few thousand sea otters left. Luckily, a treaty was established in 1911 to protect sea otters. Their populations began to recover, and many more regulations have been put into place since then. Today, some of the biggest threats to sea otters are oil spills and predation by animals like killer whales and bald eagles. Oil spills can be detrimental to sea otters because oil on their fur prevents them from staying warm. Sea otters are highly important in maintaining the health of kelp forests because they control the populations of sea urchins that prey on kelp, thus allowing more kelp to grow.